You're listening to the Book Your Dream Clients podcast, episode 59. You're listening to the Book Your Dream Clients podcast, where we believe business can be simple and you can use your intuition to run towards your goal. Self-made business and success coach, Lindsay Maloney, helps you start and scale your dream coaching business. With her step-by-step intuitive and creative guidance, you'll leave ready to put her tips into action, push your business forward, and work with your dream clients. Lindsay is here to help you get unstuck and structure your brilliance into a coaching business that's sustainable and financially exhilarating. Here's your host, Lindsay Maloney. Hey everyone, it's just me today and I want to talk to you heart to heart about why you're not booking any clients and we're going to get really deep with this. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show. All right, so I wanted to do this episode for quite some time. I even went on Instagram live and talked about it and it's one of my more popular Instagram TV videos because Everyone struggles with this. Most of my followers are coaches and they rely on clients. They've either started their business and they're in the beginner stages or they're in the midst and they're really struggling. And the biggest thing that they're probably going to say they're struggling with is getting clients. And I just want to speak to that problem in quotations right now because the clients are not your problem. Your empty calendar is not your problem. Your social media platforms are not the problem. Your Instagram profile is not the problem. The amount of followers you have is not the problem. So what is the problem if it's none of those things? All of the things that you worked so hard to create and perfect and sound interesting and stand out and look beautiful, what is the problem then? You have all of that, right? So what is wrong? It's in your mind. It's in your mind and it's in your heart. You don't believe that you should have clients. You don't believe that you're good enough to work with clients. Kind of a hard hitter. And I don't want you to get mad at me for saying it because you know it's true. If it strikes up an, if it strikes up an emotion inside of you, that means I hit, I hit something. But if you're like, no... I totally believe that I am ready for clients and I'm good enough for clients. Then let's ask you why then? Why don't, why are people not signing up to work with you? What's the missing link in this? And I say the mind very, the first thing I say always is it's in the mind because it always is. It's always, it always goes to the mindset. Every podcast interview that I, that we've had, goes to the mindset. Every coaching call that we I go on with my clients always touches on mindset. We always touch on mindset in Stand Up Coaching Academy, whether it's in the Facebook group or on a group call. Mindset is everything. And you might have heard me say this before many times, but I remember when I first started my coaching business and I heard the word mindset, I drifted off into a fog. I remember being on a coaching call nine years ago. And I remember all the girls on the call were talking about this book that they read. I think it was the four day work week or something like that. And they were talking about mindset and blah, blah, blah. That's what I thought at the time, blah, blah, blah. And I remember just drifting off into space thinking, oh, I don't need to listen to this part because I'm a good person. I know that that's what I thought it meant. You have to be a good person in, in, in order to have a good mindset. I had absolutely no clue. I was never taught this and I wasn't listening to anyone who taught about it, who spoke about it at all. So when I heard fellow coaches talking about this, I thought it was just something I could skip over, you know, like the the parts in the book that are kind of airy fairy and you're like, I'm not going to read that. That doesn't apply to me. Tell me what to do and then I'll do it and then I'll get all the clients in the world. I, that's that was how I operated my business for years. Just tell me what to do. I wanted I I signed up with coaches because I wanted them just to tell me what to do so I could actually get a client. And I remember being on a call with a coach once and saying, "Can't you just tell me what to do?" And they said, "Yes, but you have to do it for one, 
And you have to be in the right mindset while you do it always. And I I thought, okay, well, there's got to be something to this. If everyone is talking about it, all the people that I admire, all of the authors of the books that I read, everyone touches on it. There has to be something to it. And of course there is. So let's talk about the clients again. If you don't have any clients, you've never booked a client, you're in a dry spell, why do you think that is happening? What has changed with your business now than what you think it should be if you booked a client? That's something that we need to think about. Let's say you booked a client next month. What would be the difference between your in your business between next month and today? What would be the difference between you today and you next month? If there's no change, if your website is the same, your social media is the same, all of those things that we work on and pay so much attention to is the same, then there's something inside that has changed. There's something inside, something we can't see that has changed. So what could that be? Your thoughts. Your thoughts control your life, I firmly believe, and your thoughts are for surely going to change your business. So if you speak about your lack of clients and your lack of this and that, that's the blueprint that's going to be laid out for you. So every morning you wake up and you think about, oh, this day is going to be so horrible. I have to go sit at my computer. I probably don't have anything fun in my inbox. I probably don't have any payments coming in. I don't have any clients. I don't have any students. I'm just putting in all this work and nothing's happening. Dot, 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 right? We've all said it. So when you think about that, it's like a printer. It's a printer for your day. When you talk that way about yourself and your business, anything in your life, really, it's like you're just printing out a sheet of how your day is going to be. That's how I picture it. I am a very visual person, so I come up with really odd analogies, but I think it's a good one. My day is going to be crappy. I don't want to get out of bed. I'm tired. I don't feel good, but I don't know why. Something's off. I'm just tired of of spinning my wheels on my business. I'm tired of feeling like nobody's listening. Print. Here's your sheet. Get up and get ready for the day. That doesn't sound like a great day. I wouldn't want that sheet to be attached to me. So what kind of sheet do you want attached to you? If you wake up in the morning and you thank God for waking you up once again and ask God, what will you have me do? Who will you have me serve? All of those questions and just let God take care of you and just trust that everything will work out in your favor because it will. It might not be today or next week or next month, but it will. Everyone is on their own time. Think about a garden. When you plant a garden, all of the seeds come up in their own time. Some seeds surprise you in the middle of summer, and some come up in a week and you you can't believe how fast they sprouted. But we had no control over that. We plant a garden, and we water it, and we nurture it, and we just trust that it'll come up eventually. And we're okay with that. So why are we so hard on ourselves about something that we created? We didn't apply for this. We didn't get handed this online business by someone. We decided one day, and we were probably really excited about it, to create a business because we knew we could change lives. We knew we could help people and we knew we could help them achieve a goal and walk on a journey that we walked before and we knew we could make it easier for people. So why are we giving up by talking in the lack mindset? Why are we talking negative about something that could be so amazing for somebody tomorrow? Don't give up today because what if tomorrow somebody comes to you and says, I need your help because I see what you're doing and I am drowning here. I know you can help me, so please help me. If we live every moment for that person and every minute for our business for that one person, they will find you. They will find you. You just have to trust that they will. So when you wake up in the morning, I want you to think, I want you to thank God, like I said, and I want you to be so excited for the clients that are coming your way. 
and say things to yourself like, I am an abundant coach. I am smart. I'm a great teacher. I'm successful. I'm amazing. I'm exciting to listen to. All of those things that you might feel nervous to say out loud will matter because your words matter. It doesn't matter if you say them in your head, if you write them down, you say them out loud, but you got to say them and you got to believe it. And even if you don't believe it right away, just say it anyway. It'll match up eventually. And then once you do and it starts to match up, people are going to notice They're going to notice that you look different. They're going to notice that you sound different. They're going to ask you, what is different about you? And they're going to think, well, maybe she lost weight or maybe she changed her makeup or maybe she's just, I don't know what it is, but there's something different about you. And those are really good things to hear because you know in the back of your mind that it actually happened in the back of your mind. You decided to switch the way you thought you thought and spoke about yourself. And for some reason, everybody noticed. So think how powerful that is. Your thoughts are so powerful. They will notice. So remember, keep thinking about yourself in a way that you want to be thought about truly. Don't talk to yourself in a way that you would never talk to your son or your daughter. Don't put down your business because you would never put down mine. We're all in this together. We are all in this together. So let's just keep our heads up and be positive and think about the people that need us and show up for them in the most highest way possible. Want 10 ways for you to start booking your dream clients? I created this workbook for you because I wanted to share my best tips on how I book mine. You're not going to believe how easy these are, and I know you'll be able to take my tips and put them into action ASAP so you can start working with your dream clients. To grab the workbook for free, all you have to do is go to lindsaymaloney.com slash podcast. Hey coaches, are you a member of the Book Your Dream Clients community yet? Because you should be. Just go to dreamclientcommunity.com to request free access. We do fun things like website audits, challenges, and we even have a book club. Join the free Dream Client community now and we'll see you there. Thank you so much for listening to the Book Your Dream Clients podcast. If you want to find out more information, how you can work with me, just head on over to my website, lindsaymaloney.com. You will be able to see how you can work with me privately or in a group setting. I'm all about helping you start and scale your coaching business, so I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe to the show on iTunes and leave a rating and review. And if you want bonus points, take a screenshot of a review and tag me on your Instagram story. I'd love to see it and share it with my audience. And plus, you don't want to miss another episode. 